Are you struggling to find consistency in your day trading profits? Or are you tired of losing trades and missing out on potential winning streaks? Well, the problem might not be with you, but with the tools you're using. That's where the Trader's Dynamic Index, TDI, indicator comes in. This powerful indicator has the potential to turn your losing trades into winning streaks. By helping you decipher and monitor market conditions related to trend direction, market strength, and market volatility. In this video, we'll show you how to use the TDI indicator to improve your day trading strategy and increase your chances of success in the Forex and stock markets. We'll provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on the best settings and strategy for the TDI indicator and show you how to backtest your approach to maximize your profits. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools and knowledge to start trading with confidence and achieve your financial goals. The TDI indicator, also known as the Trader's Dynamic Index, is a hybrid technical indicator developed to help traders monitor market conditions related to trend direction, market strength, and market volatility. It is a comprehensive indicator that is easy to read and use. The TDI indicator uses RSI, moving averages, and different signal types to provide a complete picture of market conditions. It was developed by Dean Malone, a trader with over 30 years of experience in the market. Now, let's discuss how the TDI indicator changed everything for me. I was struggling with losing trades and couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. That's when I came across the TDI indicator. I decided to backtest the TDI indicator on various Forex pairs and stocks to see if it could help me identify profitable trades. After backtesting the TDI indicator for a while, I noticed a significant improvement in my trading performance. The TDI indicator helped me identify profitable trades and avoid bad trades. Since then, the TDI indicator has become a vital part of my trading strategy. Now, let's discuss the best strategy and settings for the TDI indicator that I've found to work well on the Forex Market AUDJPY trading pair. Note that we are using the 5 minute time frame. First, let's adjust the settings for the TDI indicator by locks to make it easier to read and identify profitable trends. Open the settings panel and do the following. Change the time frame to 15 minutes. Set the RSI period to 100. Change the signal line MA type to the whole moving average. Set the RSI signal line period to 21 and change the RSI signal line MA type to the non-lag moving average. Next, adjust the volatility band settings by changing the volatility band period to 10 and the volatility band multiplier to 1.5. Finally, uncheck the signal line in the input settings. Then uncheck the RSI price line with RSI signal line in the style settings. Click OK to apply the settings. Now, let's discuss the entry rules. Notice that our band line looks like a moving average. For a valid buy signal, we wait for the TDI moving average to cross above the middle band line. Ensure that both the red and green moving averages are above the middle band line. Always check the values of the indicator and note that the middle band line is at level 50. When we notice both TDI moving averages are above the 50 middle line, we enter our position for a long trade. For stop loss, I recommend using the ATR stop loss finder by Verifit. The green ATR moving averages are for long entry stop loss and the red ATR moving average is for short entry stop loss. Since we are going long, we set our stop loss at the green ATR moving average. Use any reasonable values for taking profit, but in my case, two times what we risked is a good plan for taking profits. We have seen that it is successful. 
Let's take a look at some examples of successful trades using this strategy. Suppose we are day trading the Forex market and trading the AUDJPY pair on a 5 minute chart. We have set up the TDI indicator by locks with the settings we discussed earlier. We wait for a buy signal, which occurs when the TDI moving averages cross above the middle band line. We also ensure that both the red and green moving averages are above the middle band line and that the values are above the 50 level line. Once we receive a valid buy signal, we enter our position for a long trade and set our stop loss at the green ATR moving average. We then use a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio to take our profits. Suppose we risk 10 pips, we would aim to take 20 pips as our profit target. Let's take a look at some successful trades that we're taking using this strategy. In this first example, we have a clear buy signal when the TDI moving averages cross above the middle band line. We enter our long trade and set our stop loss at the green ATR moving average. The price then moves up and hits our profit target, and we exit the trade with a profit. In this second example, we again have a clear buy signal when the TDI moving averages cross above the middle band line. We enter our long trade and set our stop loss at the green ATR moving average. The price moves up and hits our profit target, and we exit the trade with a profit. As you can see from these examples, the TDI indicator by LOX can be a powerful tool in your trading arsenal. It is essential to note, however, that the TDI indicator should not be relied on solely for making trading decisions. It is best used as a confirmation indicator to improve your chances of long-term profitability. Another important aspect of successful trading is backtesting. Backtesting your trading strategy can help you identify areas of improvement and optimize your strategy for maximum profitability. It involves testing your trading strategy on historical data to see how it would have performed in the past. In conclusion, the TDI indicator by LOX is a versatile indicator that can assist traders in deciphering and monitoring market conditions related to trend direction, market strength, and market volatility. By adjusting the settings and using a sound trading strategy, it can be a valuable tool for day trading Forex and other markets. However, it should be used in conjunction with other indicators and not relied on solely for making trading decisions. Backtesting your trading strategy can also help you optimize your strategy for maximum profitability. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.